Language Barrier by Marguerite Masiala. There I was, standing and thinking about if I should pick great value, large white eggs of 18 count at $2, or Eggland's best cage-free large brown eggs of 12 count at $3. Ma'am, are you okay? Yes, I'm... I'm okay. You don't seem to be doing fine. Thank you so much. My pleasure. (gasps) Thinking to myself, what is happening? Why is everybody running? I take back both cartons of eggs. I rush to where the gasp was coming from, only to find out that someone is having a seizure. Everybody is panicking, and many people surround the person who is having a seizure. I am standing there just watching. I look at my Samsung S5, and it is 5 o'clock. Should we call 911? Well, I I don't know. I I don't know. Someone call 911! I am thinking, first of all, always keep your calm when there is an emergency. Why are people surrounding her like that? Let's calm down. You, black shirt, turn her to the side and grab those plastic bags. Fold them and put them under her head so she can have some airflow and breathe. Green shirt, remove the cart and grocery bags near her. People, please back off. She needs space. Someone, call 911. Should we call 911? Has it been five minutes already? These are the basic rules to follow when someone is having a seizure. I wanted to go and tell them that people should stay away from her, put a pillow under her head, or put her on the side. It seems to me that nobody knew what to do. I wanted to go and help, but I couldn't. According to the law of that city, I could get in trouble if the person dies. Their family could sue me for killing their family member. So I left and went to check out my items. I forgot the eggs. And I should add more fruits. Is this man going to let me run to get the items that I forgot? It is too late, and I can't tell him that I have to add more items. Ma'am, which method of payment are you using? Hmm? Are you using cash or card? Sorry? Cash or card? Here is your change. Have a good day. Next, please. On my way out, I see the ambulance, but I can't go back inside the store. I'm walking to the bus stop with my heavy bags and sit on the bench to wait for the bus to take me home. Mommy, what's happening? Why is there an ambulance here? Oh, maybe someone got hurt. After about 10 minutes, I see and hear the ambulance going away. In front of me, there was bus 43 going downtown. I get in, show the bus driver my bus ticket, and sat on the seat that was facing the window. Inside the bus, the driver and other passengers are all wondering what could have happened when they heard the ambulance leaving the store. As soon as I saw my bus stop, I pulled the cord to request a stop. Yes, I did it. I should call Dad and tell him. I put the groceries away. I was going into my room when one of my relatives stopped me. How was your first day of grocery shopping? Oh, it went smooth. I did everything myself and nobody helped me. I'm so proud of you. You followed my instructions, relied on your memory, and you took the bus. Thanks, Precious. You're welcome. I'm off to work. Wait, wait, wait. Yes? What? Something terrible happened when I was in the store. What? What happened? A woman had a seizure while I was shopping. I hope you were not too close to her. Anyway, let's talk about it when I get back. Okay. I got in my room and started thinking about the woman who had a seizure. I hope she's okay. Oh my god, what if she died of suffocation? I knew what to do, but I did not help. Girl, you could go to prison if you put your hands on her to try to help and she died. You could be sued, and you couldn't tell them what to do anyway. Maybe if you said something, 
They could have laughed at you. You could use your hand, use gestures to tell them what to do. You could use a translation or just anything. What did I do? I knew how to help. I knew how to help, but how can you help someone when you don't even speak English? I thought about that woman for the entire night. My name is Marguerite, but I prefer to be called Maggie because that's how my parents call me. I am originally from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I am training to be a nurse. I speak French, Kikongo, and Lingala, and where I am currently living, everyone speaks English.